jazz hands. Let's show the jazz hands. 904 doing jazz hands. Mark Krebs hey, doing jazz hands. Walter that. Keller. Okay, everyone's doing jazz hands. We are live. <laughs> I hope you got your big girl panties on. I hope it's AK bulletproofed tonight. Yeah. This is episode, I don't even know what episode number this is. I think maybe? One, 103. 103. 103. Okay. Yes. Episode 103, live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. This is live. the My Freedom podcast. I am your host, Hank Strange. Tonight, Tonight, we are doing the Krebs Custom Raffle Giveaway. We're going to do it live on air. That's why we've got this distinguished gentleman right there, Mr. Mark Krebs. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Thanks for joining us. And uh, so we've got Mark Krebs here. We've also got Walter Keller. Check him out. There he goes. What's up? What's Walter up? Keller, Safety Harbor Firearms. We also, have, we also have special guests. Steve and Brian from 904 Outdoors. 904. <laughs> Florida yeah. is in the building tonight. Florida is in the building. You know, and then <laughs> you guys are in Illinois. What's the temps up in Illinois today or this afternoon? Not bad. Yeah. Around 50. Oh, that's not bad. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's manageable. For us, that's it's freezing here. Yeah. 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 You could put on a nice little jacket. Hey. You know, some people can still wear shorts in 50 degrees. <laughs> Not me, but some people could do it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I want to say what's up to everyone that's hanging out with us in the chat. Um, we've got lots of folks in the chat, so what's up to you guys? I want to encourage everyone to please click thumbs ups. Click the thumbs ups. We really need that. Just punch those thumbs ups right now. Oh, yeah, if you good. hate us all, click the thumbs downs. We don't even care. We don't care. Don't if you hate us... Down. Give the thumbs. No, I don't care. I don't give a, for the people as as long as they click something, it's all good. Don't forget to share this on your whatever social media you have. We are on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know what to do when you're sharing it, you can go on those social medias and follow myself and everyone else here on the panel and share what they've already posted. So I've posted something up, a picture of what's behind me. That is the the uh, KV-13 Mod 2 that is that we're giving away one of those and as well as it, it has the achaotic suppressor on it from Liberty Suppressors so we're gonna go through all that stuff right Mark yes sir yeah uh, let me just quickly go through here and shout out some people that are hanging out in the chat with us right now and I hope as I'm shouting you out I hope you're giving us thumbs ups I hope you're sharing it Tango Hunter was first in the building Tango Hunter so shout out to Tango Hunter. He was number one. Sean M is here. Chris B is here. Greg 98K also here. Uh, let's see who else. Um, Kentucky Firearms Network, Rock Humper, the armed Kentuckian. Peter Machuko, shut up and play your guitar as well in the building. So um, let's see, shut up and play your guitar. He 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 put up a bunch of gun, a bunch of pistol icons. He says, the Krebs is mine. Okay, we'll see what happens. See what happens, man. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing, you know? Yeah, everybody, everyone has the dream right now. Everyone everyone has the dream, but there's lots of good prizes. So um, I believe um, these guys will correct me if I'm, wrong, if I'm wrong. I believe there's five prizes, but I could be wrong. Uh, Vanessa Kitty also in uh, here. Um, let's see. Who else? Uh, Julina Sumido. I get, I, I'm hoping... I'm hoping I said that right. <laughs> the Archangel, if I didn't already say it, Nitro Zoo 76, uh, Gorillas and Guns. Um, let's see who else is in here. Screaming Skull Saloons. <laughs> Sweating up a Rat Ride 1. <laughs> Mark Wagner is in here. Foxtrot Echo DC2 Mega Boost. Rock Hopper is in here. Mr. Holster also in here with us. MW Tactical, Highway Run 77, uh, Bernard P, Recall Junkie 1981, uh, Rygon R, The Tyven Show. What's up, Tyven Show? Tyven. Jackie Bear, Tyven. Car Carrier as well, E Rock, DF2 Dot. There's a lot of, there's, there's, there's a lot of people in here. Uh, Graham's Plumbing, Jason Cook. Simon yeah. says train says what's up guys so shout out to everyone if I miss someone my apologies you know do a shout out and we'll say what's up to you again 
Um, also, all of these guys are probably in the chat, so you can uh, you can talk to them. So there you go. Okay. Don't forget to click the thumbs ups right now. We want to see those thumbs ups get generated as well as, you know, share on social okay, media and all that okay. kind of stuff. So, Mark, um, exactly. Let's start with that first question. How many prizes do we have here? Or Tim. Tim is in the other window. I didn't introduce him. There he goes. Tim is working on the is working on another computer in Krebs Customs. So um, either one of you guys could take that question. Exactly how many prizes do we have? Uh, five. I believe. Uh, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh oh, something's so, up. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tim. Tim's. Uh, Tim's connection's a little slower over there. So, there you go. Um, well, okay. So let's do the run. Yeah. Let's do the. Uh, let's do the rundown then of what the prizes are. We could probably start there. That would be a good way to go about it. Okay. So, uh, first prize would be uh, Circle Ten. Uh, we're arranging them in monetary order. Okay. Um, except for Jim Fuller, because Jim Fuller normally charges four thousand dollars for a personal one-on-one -on -one deal. Yeah. Uh, for the build, uh, I don't want to slight him. He came on here with, you know, um, trying to help. And, Absolutely, uh, and it's a pretty cool thing that he offered, right? Um, oh, I, I want yes. Yeah, you want to tell the folks out there what the prize that he offered up is. Mark. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. the the prize is the. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. Uh, um, the um, he's gonna do a one on one build with a guy, and um, they they have to go to Las Vegas to do it. But um, he's gonna do one on one tutoring and uh, build with a, a person on a on a whole AK. Exactly. So, and I think they just um, pretty cool. Yeah, the class is yeah. paid for. What they have to come up with is the materials, like the receiver and stuff like that, the right? Parts, the parts kit. Yeah, yeah. The parts they got to come up with the parts, right? Yeah, but you get one on one with Jim Fuller, Rifle Dynamics, helping you build your AK. So yeah, that's that's pretty badass. That's pretty cool. So that was a late entry as a prize, and it's not. If anyone goes to the actual raffle page. That's not on the page, but it is one of the prizes. So well, now what – I'm sorry. Go ahead. It was added into the raffle page. Oh, it was? Okay, cool. So oh, it was? We'll okay. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. The one I'm looking at, I don't see it, but that's cool. Okay, so um, then what are the other prizes here? Uh, well, the, the, the second prize – or um, second prize would be the JMAC gas block and muzzle brake. And then the third prize would be the Yugoslavian um, what is it? The M90A. M90A. And then uh, it would be Jim Fuller with his build class, and then our uh, our uh, rifle and suppressor will be um, the, main. the grand. We we also have the. Uh, you go. The AK receiver by Sharps Bros. Yeah. Oh, okay. shoot. Yeah. What? Okay. Excuse <laughs> yeah. me. Damn. Yeah. That is going to kill me. Um, <laughs> no, go ahead. You can talk uh, about it now. We've got yeah. time. It's not too late. <laughs> the third prize would be um, definitely uh, the, uh, the receiver from Sharps Brothers, which is a beautiful receiver. And then um, Jim Fuller's class. Then the last prize. Uh, would be the rifle and the suppressor. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe that we the amount of tickets that we sold is something like a thousand and one or something like that. Uh, I believe total, yes. Right. right. Yeah. So, um, and the money that we raised looks to me like seventeen thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars. Yep. 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 Wow. So that's. That's uh, pretty good. I think some of that's already gone to the family, right? The Rasmussen family. Yeah, yeah. We 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 gave them seven because they needed it, and uh, and then we'll give them the rest when uh, it's over. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. I you know and uh, 
Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's going to help them out. Uh, I know that you already heard from them, and they're very appreciative of what everyone's done for them, right? Oh, oh yeah. big time. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, yeah. Okay, awesome. So the way that we're going to do this, um, I think th I think what we'll do is we'll spread out the giveaways over the night or over the two hours that we're here on air. We'll spread it out. And we'll start at one prize package and we'll come up with a name. Now there's a there's a spreadsheet that the Krebs Customs guys have. I also have it here on my desk. Um, I know that you guys were trying to figure out how to screen share and show it and all that. I guess that didn't work out. Yeah, that computer is way too slow. So what I'll do is really fast screen share it. Yeah. Go through the process of getting the uh, winner and then we'll uh, unscreen share it so you can yeah, so we can talk back and forth. And the and the, the uh, what I think we're going to do is we're going to use a randomizer. So this spreadsheet will go in the randomizer. And Tim was saying that what we should do is is randomly um, let it select like uh, the top number of people randomly three times. So the first time doesn't count. Second time doesn't count. Third time that will count. So whatever shows up the third time. That um, that top name, that's going to be the person who won that prize, right? Yes. Okay. That's just, you know, we're just trying to make it fair so everyone knows what's going on out here. And then if you win a prize, what we're going to do is you've won that prize. You're, you're um, basically, you know, we're going to make you not eligible to win all the other stuff because we, we want to give away a bunch of things and spread it out make sure everyone has a chance at winning something. Right. Okay. So. Make it, make it fair. Yeah, absolutely. I think that sounds fair to everyone out there, right? Yeah. Okay, we're all in agreement with that. Okay, Walter's off to go get something. Yeah. Oh, he's getting he's getting headsets. There you go. All right. Turn the air on in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. No problems. It's not fifty outside here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So okay. So those that sounds. I'm gonna assume that sounds um, good for everyone. Uh, let me see. Okay. Um, yeah. It sounds to me like everyone. That sounds good. Rock Humper says he has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> so basically, what we're saying is we're gonna give away a prize at a time. In order to pick that prize, we have a spreadsheet and it's got a bunch of names on it. All the names. Um, let me see. I'm going to scroll down in the bottom of this one here. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, let me see. I'll see how many. It looks like, you guys can tell me, uh, Tim, whether I'm, I'm right or wrong. looks like 1,001 entries. Obviously, some people did multiple entries when you bought your tickets. So some people did multiple entries on that. And so for every entry you made, your name is in this, is on this list. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a randomizer and we're going to randomize it three times. So the first and second times don't count. But what, what comes up the third time, that's the person who won, who's on the top of that randomizer. Is that right, Tim? Yes. Okay. So there you go. I hope that explained it to you, Rock Humper. <laughs> Um, I think the folks out there would probably like us to go on to the first one. So what's the let, let's do the first prize that we're going to give away, Mark. Um, and first what is that? What, what are we giving uh, away? Circle for? ten, uh, the uh, op handle, uh, the muzzle brake, and the stock. Okay, and that's pretty cool, man. Those are some cool parts, especially I, I especially like. Yeah, the they are. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have like a value on that, but that's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool prize. What? Um, right, just a huh? yeah. uh, tad under 200. Okay, tad under 200. Did you want to ask something, Walter? No, no, no. Okay. All right. So, you know what? Let's just jump in and do that. Yeah, rock right. Are you ready to do it, guys? You ready to, to go, Tim? Fired up. I'm copying all the names right now, so we'll get it going almost down at the very end. No a phone call. I think someone's phone. Yeah, I think the the phone's ringing in the shop. Somebody's said, ordering AKs. Somebody said we're going back to the future. Sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, oh, "You're confusing me. What is that sound? <laughs> no one knows what a old school telephone sounds like." We have to get eighty eight point five miles per hour. Is that what it was again? <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we screen sharing? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. I, I. Yeah. I'll lock it on the screen Fingers share crossed. here. So, Fingers so crossed. we're using random.org for everyone. And like I said, we're gonna do this three times 
The third time's the one that's going to count. Here's all the names or whatever. All the names. It's all copied down. Yeah. And then I'm going to paste all of them into here. You can see people have got multiple tag-ins. Everybody's there, ready to go. First on third. So first one, second one will not count. And then the third one will be who wins. So first randomize. Everyone's there. Hold it down. Second time. Okay. Scroll down. All right. This okay. will this is this is for the money. <laughs> big, big, big money. Come on, big money. All Sean right, man, speaker. That is for the uh, Circle Ten charging yeah. handle, fixed stock, and uh, muzzle device. Yeah. So I see that name as being Sean Manspeaker. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So there you go, Sean Manspeaker. I don't know if he's watching. You know, I'm that. So that's obviously that person. Uh, yeah. That's. I don't know if you guys know who Sean Manspeaker is, but I don't know if you're watching. Let us know if you're in here. But congratulations. Oh, he is that is that yes. Sean M? Yes. Congratulations, yep. Sean M. You 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 got. I I really like that stock. By the way, I I want one of those stocks. <laughs> so there you go, Sean. Congratulations to you, man. Bingo. You won. You won the thing. So the next one. We'll, we'll come up to the next one in a minute here. We're going to go through and talk to some folks. Um, let's see if we can get the Krebs guy. Okay, they came off the sharing. All right, so let's see. Let's check in on the 904 guys. They're patiently waiting here. What's up, Steve, Brian? What's going on with you guys? Not much. Yeah. yeah. You guys look like you're in a different location. You're not in that shack somewhere in a field in Florida. Yeah, we're at my house. Yeah, we're at, we're at Brian's uh, house. And it's, oh. It's yeah, and your internet's looking good. <laughs> Brian obviously has the internet, I guess. Yeah, I got killer internet here. That's why we're doing it here. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Lola wants me to uh, is reminding me to shout out to J Mac Customs. So that's um, that's who those that's who is J Mac Customs in here? Is he in the chat? Oh, shout out to J Mac. He's joining us in the chat. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I think the J Mac stuff is coming up, right? Oh uh, yeah, J Mac will be next. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, J Max going to be next. So, what's going on, nine hundred four dudes? Been doing a lot of filming, a lot of shooting, a lot of binary triggers, a lot of okay. Lot of awesome awesome. binary triggers. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Okay. So, your which binary trigger specifically are we talking about here? Uh, we just got the uh, the Franklin Armory BFS three straight trigger. Yeah, BFS. Yeah, it's like what is it? BFS three, uh, ARS one. Okay. Yeah. yeah AR <laughs> Roger, Roger. I, I keep telling people just call this stuff the Hank. Why are we yeah, making it so? Why are we making it so complicated? But uh, so, how do you guys like it? How is it? I like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we had uh, some bolt carrier issues, which is the gun's fault. So uh, we're waiting on a new bolt carrier. But oh, other what than do you mean that, by so. bolt carrier issues? You broke the bolt carrier or something? Yeah, we broke, we broke a bolt. Yeah, yeah, it uh, it cracked. Yeah. So oh wow. That was a Okay, very cool. The round jammed up and top on top of the bolt, actually. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the pin for the extractor walked its way out, and on on its way coming back, it actually impacted the bolt carrier, and it cracked the car cracked the bolt. And oh, okay. So that video, I'm assuming, is not up. No, it's not up. No. Oh, okay. So have you guys <laughs> put out any video with the trigger yet? Uh, uh, I did an install on it, yep. and I'm in the process. Yeah, I think of I saw that. Anything. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I'm in the process of editing the, uh, the actual range time with it. It's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Um, uh, Walter and I actually did a comparison video, which I just put up, Lola. Oh, you did? It's on it, – well, it's not It's not to wide release yet, so I think it's going to go up. Oh, for the Patreon. Page. I just uploaded it. As we're speaking, it just got uploaded. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and it's going to go to the Patreon folks first. So anyone who um, supports us on Patreon with Patreon slash Hank Strange, we did a comparison BFS3 AR S1 XYZ <laughs> versus, <laughs> versus the Echo 2. <laughs> Echo AR2. Yeah. Hey, uh, Hank, uh, would, would you explain that uh, we're picking by name, but we're, we're – like if somebody bought six tickets – they've got six chances of winning it's not yeah. just their name yeah yeah it's not right. it's not oh, the name oh, if you oh, okay. so many 
numbers because there's there was only some 300 people that entered in, but more people got a bunch of tickets. So that's why there's a thousand different entries when we do the right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, I, I guess some folks want to know how we're doing it. Yeah. If you bought six tickets, your name is in there six times. If you bought one ticket, your name is in there one time. Right etc. So the only thing that we're doing on top of that is if we pick a winner here and someone wins something, if your name happens to come up, we'll see if it happens. I doubt that's going to happen. But if it comes up again, you know, then we're going to disqualify that just so that we could spread all the, the prizes out to people and everyone gets a, a fair shot at winning. But if you if you bought 20 tickets, you're in your name's in there 20 times. So that ups your odds of winning, right. you know. At the same time, if you bought one ticket, you, you you have a chance of winning. We gave away one already. That was Sean M. So I know there's a question here of how are we notifying people. Um, We're going to email. We'll email and then obviously if they're yeah. watching. Them, yeah. Um, so you guys have emails of the people who bought yes. tickets, right? Yeah. So we'll email we'll email folks out. If you won and you're here in the chat, obviously, you know, we'll congratulate you and everything. But we, we will give everyone a chance well, to collect. Right? actually, yeah. Yeah, Krebs will actually reach out. So if someone wins and they're not here in the chat or they're not watching this video right now, um, no yeah. email. Yeah, type, type and text me to make sure they didn't get skipped. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> Tyvin. Okay, Tyvin just did, tell yeah. Tyvin I said hold on to your hat. We're being fair to everyone. We're thinking, I know, about, I know. We're thinking about. I just Tyvin want to make sure if he wins it. for me to tell him he won. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, he wants to make sure he gets notified. Yeah, okay, yeah. everyone except Tyvin, we're going to notify you. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. All right, so that's how we're going to do it. You will get notified by email. If you're here in the chat, you're still going to get um, notified by email, so don't worry about it. If you don't hear from, um, if you, you know, if you think you won and you don't hear from anyone, then get in touch with any one of us, and we'll put you through to Krebs, and they'll sort it out. How does that sound? I'll look up plan. Okay, good. Okay, so I think I was talking to the 904 guys really quick, and we were talking about uh, binary triggers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so how do you? So, so far, you guys are liking it, but you broke a, a bolt carrier group, so you got to wait for that, right? Or the carrier. Yeah, I just yeah, I actually just broke the bolt, but the. Uh, oh, okay, the bolt. Okay. The trigger worked great. I mean, it's it's 100 so far. The uh, uh, we just posted a video on the uh, Echo AR2 also, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. I, I think Walter, I'm, I'm not, we're not going to talk about our thing because it's, it's kind of like embargoed. <laughs> only, only the people who are on Patreon supporting us get to see it for a couple of days. We'll come that's, back when the video that's, goes That's out. fair for now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We'll come come back and yeah. talk about that. Any other projects you guys have going on? Uh, we've got the, uh, the thousand round update for the AK coming. It's 2000 rounds. Is it 2000 already? Yeah. It's 2, yeah, I guess it's 2000. Okay. There you go. And then we got it. This, uh, this little guy. Very this nice. Our long distance range gun. 5.56 five, AR uh, billet upper. With a, with a bunch of stuff on it. I see bipod and light. Got a bipod. Yeah. Uh, Optic. Got a primary arms 1 to 6 by 24 ACSS reticle scope on it. Sweet. And uh, it's able to reach out and touch someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, how are you liking the um, the ACSS so far? Oh, I love it. It's it's a clear optic. Yeah. It's one of the better optics I've shot in my lifetime. Probably okay. always a good product. Okay, awesome. Very good. Very good. Um, Gorn, Gorn, Gorn. I see oh yeah, going. people want yeah people want to see gun stuff. So oh, I have one more that we can't show, but yeah, we can't show that one yet because our snowflake our snowflake giveaway gun. Oh, okay. Ah, that's on our Instagram. So. so you have a, you guys have a giveaway going on. Yes, we have a giveaway going on on our Instagram only. Okay. Um, we actually did a video announcing the uh, the giveaway on the Instagram page. So. Okay. So Instagram how only at nine hundred four outdoors, and uh, you can find out all the information there. Okay. So anyone that wants to be part of that, they have to go to your Instagram. Yep. Yep. Or just watch the video on our uh, our YouTube channel. It's uh, Snowflake. Uh, was it Snowflake giveaway? Something like that. Okay, cool, awesome. I encourage everyone to go over there. Also, subscribe to these guys. Yes. You know, they're they're a nice <laughs> set. A bunch of guys at nine oh four. I think it's like three of you guys, right? Yeah, there's three of us total. Yeah, two and a half, really. Two and a half. Yeah, two. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm assuming the half is the dude who's not here. Yeah, yeah. That's, probably yeah. watch him. Yeah, awesome. Okay, nice. They've got they've got a great channel. They need you guys' support. So if you can go over there, subscribe to them. 
uh, that I, I would appreciate that. They're good guys, and they shoot with us and do things with us sometimes. So sometimes didn't yeah. invite us for the trigger video though. <laughs> well, that I mean, you know, that just kind of happened. That was super yeah. top secret. Hey, that yeah. Was super uh, well, I don't think Walter knew we were gonna do it until we did it, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of, sort of, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's how a lot of things go down when we're shooting on the Hacienda. Sometimes Walter has stuff we have to do videos for, and then I always try to sneak something in there, like, hey, let's let's shoot this thing. What about this? <laughs> so yeah. there you go. And I kind of surprised. Actually, Will Killer Keller from the Safety Harbor crew is like the major star of that video. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was uh, up in the forefront there, yeah. Yeah, he's the tester. He's the crash test dummy we used. <laughs> I, so. I, yeah, he, he, I, I've... I've Pass that title on to him, Crash Test Dummy. Oh, yes, nice. <laughs> that, that's what the young folks are for. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So, Mark, what's been going on with you guys, man? You guys announced a gun. At oh, least yeah. One. We got, um, our uh, PD-18, which is a uh, pistol, but it's got the tail hook arm brace on it. Ooh, oh, it nice. Oh, okay. Cool. So let wait. Hold on. Let me do. Let me yeah, let me well, freeze the screen on you. Go ahead. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And then and you've got the tail hook on there. So we get, let's go to the. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. Hot one. So these are available now. Mm. Uh, or soon. Well, in a week or so. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're we just had a Black Friday sale, and it it uh, it kind of ripped out our inventory but uh it won't be long because we've prepped everything we, we we've prepped 50 guns worth of parts um and uh it's uh so we're we're putting them together now and it should go uh pretty well i just spilled root beer on the computer which is like, oh no don't just don't kill the computer mark <laughs> no. i didn't hit the good sh stuff but uh oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So very cool. So those going to be available soon. Do you have a price on that yet? Um, uh, 21.50. 21.50. Okay. Very uh, nice. We were able to bring it down a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and that's all we can do. Okay. Okay, I understand. Yep. Um, all right, let me let these. Let me let you guys clean up over there. <laughs> okay, Walter, what's going on with you? Well, um, um, kind of a well. Yesterday we took photos in the shop, so this morning we were cleaning up the the photo setup. Um, and then um, throughout the day, I was messing with some stuff, taking care of some business. But um, today, the UPS man brought me a new um, Scorpion. Yeah. Evo, the is one that the, that's the FDE. Yeah, sure. FDE. Yeah, that's correct. And the one the without... FDE is a weird color. The FDE is a weird FDE, don't you think? Yeah, it's uh, it's different, but it's yeah. the most most important thing. It ain't got that goofy sling loop on the back here. Right, so. right. Okay. But my Very stock cool. will fit on there real nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And in addition to that, um, also the FedEx guy brought two um, two um, Gemtech nine millimeter cans. Very nice. So um, I've been waiting on these for a while. Yeah. Um, and one has. Is that is that thing is is what's on the top of that suppressor Gemtex like trademark thing right the logo there? Logo thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Nice. But um, yeah. So this one's got the adapter for the three lug on the HK, and then this one's got half twenty eight thread on the CZ, so it's screwed right on. So yeah, cool. This is going to be at the shot show with our with our new stock on the back. So yeah. Um, so I've got one really important question with that, Walter. Is it going to make it full auto? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to make it full auto? Is it going to make it full auto? Um, <laughs> time will tell. Time will tell, my friend. Come on. Come on. Well, I, I'm, I haven't even, you know what? I never even dissected yours to see how the action works inside. So um, I got to dissect that one and, and take a look at it and see how it all, all right, works. I've built one. I can show you the stuff I did. Oh, cool. Do, okay. you, do you have it there? The uh, you, do you have your scorpion there? I have a rifle, yeah. Oh, okay. Or the carbine or whatever you want to call it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we did a full auto trigger group for it. Um, so I could send the information over to you. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. 
send a trigger group to me. So. Oh, there you go. See, cool. Krebs can help you out with that, Walter. Awesome. awesome. Make that thing full auto, damn it. Maybe after shot or something like that, yeah. Okay. Um, that's going to be sitting on the table at the tables at shot, so. Oh, okay, yes, because you got that to put your new stock on it, yeah, right? New stock okay, on yes. it. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, I didn't even get it put on before the show tonight, so, you know. But yeah. we're, making, we're making parts for the new stocks right now, so. Okay, so those are about to go out? Close, close. Okay, close. Were you uh, going to say something? Who, me? Yeah, was that um, you or? Um, and then hopefully before shot, we have the new stock on the, M on the, on the, on the MP5K. So, um, we're working, we're working on that also. So it's yeah. coming along. Things are coming along. Yeah. yeah. And Mark, uh, are you going to do a, a brace style AR-15 brace? A pistol brace? For the, KES? no, these, well, what, they'll probably be adaptable for the tail hook. Okay. That'd, That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've done that on the other ones where you, you, if you order it with the, where it's got the, the nub for the tail hook to slide on, you just tighten it up and um, do it that way. Um, they've got pretty, all the all the braces that are out there. Their patterns are real tight. I mean, there's no there's no wiggle room in all our stuff. We've looked at everything to try to come up with another brace, and even the the tail hook, you know, his his drops down to one side, but he's even got it where it's where it splits apart in his patent. So um, there's not much room to, you know, I, I don't know how they get that blade thing in there, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, like this one. Yeah. The, the blade itself, which is just basically the stock. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, we're, 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 we're leaning mostly to the tail hook for the, for the to put on the back of the cast stock. Yeah. So. For right now. Um, okay. Yeah. For the, for the time being. Yes. So, yeah, Mark, uh, JMAC Custom says they're going to call you on Monday about the Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> so No, I won't have any problem. If, if, if I can do a conversion, it's not like i got to you know, do heaven and earth. I'll turn it into a subgun. No big deal. Yeah. Whether it's a subgun or an SBR, it's all the same, so it doesn't really make any difference. So. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Same Absolutely. paperwork on R&R &R end. So. Yeah. So cost, should, I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. As it doesn't cost any money, so it's cool. Yeah. So should we go to JMAC since we're talking about them? By the way, I encourage everyone to go check out JMAC Customs LLC. They've got, yeah, they've got a bunch of different social media. Um, their Instagram is pretty cool. Got lots of awesome stuff up on their Instagram. They're nice. They're nice guys. I met them at, um, what was it? Was it the last NRA show? The last NRA. Yeah, NRA. So we were hanging out with them a little bit from the beginning in fact he was the, the first person to offer up stuff as we were asking people to share stuff yeah so let's up uh, so what parts from jmac customs are we giving away the uh, front sight gas block which is uh, modeled very closely to east german gas block and uh their new muzzle brake which i'm sure is very effective okay very cool and um, so let's see, are we ready to do that? Are we ready, Tim? Are we set up over there to do it? I'll give you a couple of minutes if you need, if it needs be. He's quick. Yeah. I'm slow. <laughs> uh, that's what we got. Oh, look at this. It's time to eat. Can you see me when this is going on? Uh, no, we don't see you right now. We see your screen. We see the computer screen, so if you want to make funny faces, Mark, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, so we're ready here. So we're putting all the names back into the generator, so everyone can see that. All the names are back in. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spin it three times. Third time's the one that counts. Cross your toes and your fingers and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm crossing everything right now. All right. Come on, J Mac. Come, Come on, Pam. Strange. All right, first one. <laughs> Okay, that was the first one. And scroll all the way down. Second time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, by the way, guys, please click the thumbs ups. We need the thumbs ups, okay? We've only got 81 likes so far. We should have like over 100, so click the thumbs ups, please. Yeah, got it, man. On, man. This is for good people. Yeah. And Hank's busting his ass to get stuff out here. Yeah, I'm busting my butt like a bubble. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you do the third click? We're going for the third one right now. Okay, here we go. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Go. Boom. R. Peterson. There you go. Michael R. Peterson. I don't know if Michael R. Peterson is in the chat with us right now. I have no idea. But Michael R. Peterson, whether you're in the chat or whether you're watching or whatever, if you're not here, we'll we'll send out an email. But he gets the J Mac Customs LLC part. There you go. Yeah. So congratulations to him. Um I don't know. I don't know if he's in the chat, but you know. Hopefully he is. If he isn't, congratulations to you. Everyone's very happy for you. You got some very cool parts. We will do. What's the next one that we're gonna give give away? What's the next thing coming up? Yeah, Sharps Brothers receiver. Oh, okay. So the next thing coming up is a Sharps Brothers receiver. We'll do that in in several minutes here. We'll we're gonna go on and do some other stuff um, while we're here. So let me go and. Um, Yeah, so everyone's giving him shout outs and uh, all of that. So, so okay, E Rock has a question. What's E Rock's question? Okay, so Mark, E Rock would like to know um, are there any heat covers for the KV13 rail? Heat covers? Yeah. You're talking about a heat shield? I'm guessing. So the KV13, I'm not sure. What, are we, what we're talking about here for the rail heat covers we've been talking about making a heat shield uh which go be, to go uh, under the handguard aluminum piece inside the rail oh, okay if that's mm -hmm. what he's talking about yeah um so just clarify with us there e-rock um exactly ex are you talking about like a heat shield under the rail, let us know what you think, you know, what specifically. Yes, he says yes to heat shield. So you guys are thinking about making one of those. Yeah, uh, though, you know, a grip ultimately is what you need. Any aluminum rail is going to heat up. Right, okay, yeah. It depends on how fast and how long you shoot. Okay, absolutely. All right, cool. So good to know. Let us know if that comes out because obviously there's guys here waiting to see that. We've got El Tender Fabrizio. Is in the chat, El Tendo. Oh, El Tendo would love this room that we're in right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was gonna say, like at first when you guys came on, I was like, "Are you guys in El Tendo's place?" Because I see toys all <laughs> over the drive. place. Yeah, <laughs> you know um, what kind of co you see? You see that, right, Mark? <laughs> you know, uh, you're biting El Tendo style. You know, that's <laughs> copywritten. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hold on one second. Dave R says we didn't mention that the Krebs rifle comes with a suppressor or three thousand rounds. I think we I, we I did mention the suppressor. It's from Liberty. It's the AK Otic. If you live in a state that you cannot get a suppressor, then what happens is you can you can you have the option of getting three thousand rounds of seven six two by thirty nine. So there you go. I mean, this is a pretty badass prize right here. This AK Otic. Because you get the A chaotic and the suppressor, but if you live in a state where you cannot have suppressors, you can choose to to have the three thousand rounds of seven six two. So there you go. Yeah, though I will say Jim Fuller's prize is is very good too. Actually, oh absolutely, every, yeah. Everybody here donated straight up from the heart, and even though there's differences in prices and stuff like that i mean everybody uh really uh stepped forward i, I was very proud and, and including a customer and we also got today uh or yesterday we got uh i'm gonna leave his name out of it in a way i'd, I'd like to tell it but I'm, I'm not sure if i should or shouldn't but he said if by some chance i do win Sell the gun and give Kurt the money. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. very nice of him. Very generous. So there we go. So I hope he I hope that guy wins and then goes ahead and sells the gun. But I have to say, I I don't know if I'm not that I'm not gonna be that generous. For guns, you know, and he's had to sell everything and it's like uh well whatever. Uh, it's uh yeah it sucks it sucks you'd know how much this meant to him 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I know we did hear from him. It's pretty cool. So there we go. So you know what? I well, here's what I wanted to know from the 904 guys. What the hell kind of toys do you guys have behind you? Is that G.I. Joe, He-Man? No, that's a uh, Predator action figures. Oh, Predator. Okay. Yeah, my girlfriend's big into Predator. Oh, so I see. I have the toys lined up on the wall, and then I'm all into video game stuff, too. And so all that's on that wall over here. There's about a million Nintendo games about to fall on me right now. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, Paul. Sorry. <laughs> that's yeah. true. That's my what was second that, Mark? Hobby. I said organized psychos. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. El Tenda's not the only one. <laughs> good. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. So, you know, let's, um, you know, is there any new stuff you guys wanted to talk about? Anything going on in the news? I was, uh, I was just flipping through on Fox a little bit ago and it showed a story about, and this is like news news, but John Siena, the wrestler guy, had a special $500,000 value Mustang that he sold and now Ford is suing him. I was like, it's oh. what? Yeah. Because he sold a Mustang? No, I don't think it was a Mustang. I think it was the GT. The Ford okay, GT. the GT. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, when Ford came out with um, with these new GT cars that they just, I think, they, I think they're I think 2017s. Um, these are like very exclusive cars. So what right. they did was they, they just didn't give it to everyone even if you had the money to buy it you couldn't have it they they like went through a special selection process and i think as part of that they picked john um john cena and he was supposed to hang on to it for at least two years or something yeah for two years but i think he has some money troubles or something like that going on yeah so he wound up selling the car and now he's getting sued because ford wants the money <laughs> because he violated the uh contract contractual agreement yeah, so yeah. there you go. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, um, just stuff like that, you know. And there's all here. Did, did I hear Diane Feinstein's trying to start another assault weapons ban? I don't doubt it. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's every day. She wakes up in the morning and tries to ban guns. <laughs> yeah. She's what made us big. It, it was cool. We got named on the uh, crime bill for uh, building um, Hugo M85s and calibers we never made and all that. And within like two hours, we got about six calls. Hey, man, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> crime bill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, by the way, I know there's there's um, there's like a little bit of complaining going on about the rules and how we're we're doing stuff. And I think someone says, um, like, if if someone wins twice, they should get to choose which thing. So, I mean, or if their name comes up twice, they should get to choose what prize they win. Listen, you know, um... I, I don't know what you guys think about that. I'm trying to be democratic about the whole thing. Let's get into that if it actually happens. How about that? Did, did we did yeah, Mark freeze? If a person wins, even if they bought all the tickets, in a way, and I mean, and excuse me for changing on you because we mm -hmm. agreed on this before. Mm -hmm. uh, but the more I'm thinking about it, if you bought more chances, then you have more chances. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so what do you want to do if a, if a name comes up twice, then that person wins? They they win the, another oh, prize, or what, however you know, if it comes up on the third time, then that's the person. I guess if they win twice, they win twice. Okay, all that, right, that is fair. Yeah, yeah, um, because it's about the number of tickets you bought. Okay, yeah, let's see if that. Okay, so if that happens, you know. Um, we're we're figuring all of this out in front of you guys. By the way, this is this is the awesomeness of uh, things going out live. If six tickets were bought, you'll have six chances to win. Yeah, yeah. So, we're not taking at this point. We're not taking anyone's name or anything like that out of it. So, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if that if that comes up. Then we'll just do it that way. If it happens, if it happens. What are you doing, Mark? Oh, I see smoke coming out from your crotchular area. <laughs> so you've got to explain that. Because <laughs> people might be watching this video. I'm like, what the hell? He's on fire. He's on fire. Yeah, I know. 
Why do you <laughs> class in between, you know? Yeah. No, I understand. It's the root beer he spilled on the computer shortly enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that computer's on fire. <laughs> you know, I don't want someone who just jumped in here. They're like, why is Krebs lower nether regions smoking right now? Are they smoking hot? Yeah. Their giveaway so, so hot, they're on fire. <laughs> yeah, so here it goes. Look, if that happens, so we, we, we are addressing that. Yeah, someone asked that question, and we're addressing it. If it comes up, if uh, what you're saying, Mark, is if they, if if someone, if someone who's already won, if their name comes up again, they won whatever that thing is. Is that what well, you're saying? Well, we have to do it by the number because, I mean, yeah, it'll be a number, but we're gonna say the name. Mm -hmm. So I guess if it comes up again, that's the fair way to do it because we did it by the number of chances that you purchased. That yeah. Right. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that was I, whoever said that. I'm glad they said it because, uh, you know, what whatever you whenever you do something nice, it always comes back to bite you, and uh, that's. But that was fair request, um, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Pixamite says Pixamite one says thanks for what you're doing for your friends, Mark. Thanks, Hank and Lola and the Strange Gang for helping Mark get the word out. Even if you don't win, you're still a winner for helping out, which I, I agree with that. No, I, I got to tell you, the, the amount of good will I've seen is, is like uh, truly refreshing. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I think we were talking about the John Cena thing, which is kind of messed up. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. There's a couple of things. I'm going to tell you something right now. Do you guys, does everyone here know what the Ford, the new Ford GT looks like? I do. Uh, it's a Ford. I didn't really look it up. Yeah. Oh, I saw really? It. I saw I've seen it. it. It's a pretty badass. It's a pretty badass car. Yeah. You know. Um. I think it's worth like something like a half a million dollars or something. Does it have a V6 in it too? <laughs> um. <laughs> I think. Um. Yeah. I think. Isn't it the same kind of engine? Like. Like what's in the Raptor? Isn't. Isn't it a twin turbo V6? Oh, well, I just killed it then. Yeah, that's horrible. So there you go. It's a twin. It's a badass car. So you're saying if I give you one, you don't want it. You can't sell it. Yeah, oh, I can't sell it. I will get sued from Ford. You can't no, sell it. You, you won't get. You won't get sued from Ford. You're not going to get sued. John Cena's getting sued because he made a deal with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, but it's a pretty badass car, and I could tell you right now, I could be going broke. I'm just going to go broke. I'm just going to live. I'm just going to live on the streets. Yeah, live in the car. I'm not gonna sell the car. If I have one of those, I'll just live in it. Handle it. Say, hey, dude, I'm about 140 bucks full in my tank. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll straight up panhandle. <laughs> I'll, I'll straight up panhandle for gas. Yes. <laughs> you know, you don't actually know what I would do. That would be. I would make that like a supercar Uber. Look at it. Look, I'm not selling that. It looks like a Lambo. Yeah, if I got that, I'm going straight and signing up for Uber. There's no way I'm going to be broke. <laughs> I will Uber people all over the place. I'd rather have a Dodge Demon coming out. I'd rather have the Demon, yeah. Oh, well, okay. So I understand. I understand what you guys are saying. What is this? Let's, come on. I mean, this is a gun program, dude. Yeah. Get, oh, we can't talk about cars? Oh, you don't. You don't like cars, Mark? Is that what it is? Yeah, I like cars. To get me to work and back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can we ask you what kind of car you drive? What I drive? Yeah. A Jeep. A Jeep. Okay. All right. I was thinking like a Yugo or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we should that? Yeah. Okay. So is there any gun news? Who has gun news? Let me see. I think I've got some... Uh, Okay, we've got something coming from someone. Is that Walter? I'm hearing like a fan. Some kind of air conditioning thing. I don't know who that is. Um, yeah, it just stopped, whoever it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, this, this is not exactly, here's my news thing. This is not exactly totally gun related, but I thought it was funny. So... I'm going to tell you guys this story. And I got this from the Sacramento Bee. But the headline is this. He's going to prison for shooting a cop 
the cop taunted him with KY jelly in court. <laughs> so, so here's the story. A Florida police officer was taking his 14 year old child to school uh, on March in March, uh, 2016, when he spotted a reckless driver, though he wasn't on duty, the Jacksonville, Florida officer tried to pull over Kevin Rojas, who was then 19. Uh, then Rojas gets out of his white Cadillac and started shooting at the officer. Keep in mind, his 14 year old is next to him. This guy gets out and starts shooting at him. The, um, the officer was sporting a, bal a ballistic vest that said police on it at the time. Rojas shots missed the officer's sons, uh, but it wound up hitting him three times, according to police. The officer shot back, but Rojas fled the scene by stealing another vehicle, then barricaded himself in a house. So then uh, he was later arrested and all that kind of stuff, right? So at sentencing, this guy's getting uh, life. So at the sentencing, uh, the officer spoke to Rojas. He pulled out a bottle of personal lubricant KY jelly. And he says, I brought a little gift for you. <laughs> you will need it where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so what do you got? What do you guys think about that? Why does everything have to happen in Jacksonville? <laughs> Only in Jacksonville is crazy. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's... Look, he, that guy, that guy's lucky he's not dead. So yeah. Yeah. That's true. yeah absolutely. He's, he's very lucky. And I think, I think that's totally warranted. <laughs> I think it's funny. Every news story starts off with either a Florida man or a Florida <laughs> officer. Because <laughs> Floridians do crazy stuff, as is exhibited by those of us who are from Florida here. Here we are. <laughs> hey, don't include me in that KY Jolly oh, stuff, all right? <laughs> you're, you're included. You're included in it. No, Walter's got no. whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Walter. You know. Uh, when it makes the news that some guy is on a live show uh, <laughs> chugging whipped cream, <laughs> they're going to also say, and he's from Florida. All right. Who here has not done that? Uh, Out of the me. can. I've never done it. Look, I, I, it must be white guys that do that. The white guys don't do that. <laughs> no, no, like, oh, you know what the thing yeah, is? No. You, can you imagine how much fatter I would be if I was just, <laughs> uh, just well, putting guess, the whipped cream directly? <laughs> it's not that you don't do it all the time. It's yeah. gonna be done moderation. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So there you go. Okay. All right. Actually, so the next one has alcohol in it. Hey, um, Hank, I just sent you. I just emailed you a, a the latest Photoshop that oh, my boy. son oh, did. Oh. If oh. you can see, I, I can't figure. Out, I can't seem to get it to go to the chat. But oh, um, okay. All right. Let me. See. You want to take a look at it? So now just, I have to go look. And this is. I'm assuming this is a photoshopped image of me. Oh, it's a group. It's a group group. Oh. <laughs> Oh, even more fun. <laughs> Everybody's more included fun. in this one. All right, let me I see. Think, let me I see think if you'll I like can... it. Let me see if I could save it here. Since you're a movie person, always asking me, have you seen this? Have you seen that? Um... Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, this is funny. This is oh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is real. Okay, so here, I'll show you guys. Who's familiar with the movie Fifth Element? Let me see. My, my screen's kind of dirty. And we're getting a lot of reflection. I don't know if this can really show up on the screen here, but you guys wow. see it? It's a little. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. we're getting a lot of, let me see if I can go lower here and get it. I haven't seen it. So that's from Fifth Element. So I guess this is me in the middle as Zorg. <laughs> and instead of a mohawk, I've got like a bang. And there's Walter, and then here's Babyface, and then here's Kevin Dixie. That's funny. I like yeah, it. Funny. I'll post it. Yeah, that's that's funny. Okay, I'll post that up somewhere. Yeah, but here's the Sharps Brothers receiver. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's even. Oh, the Sharps Brothers. Here oh, we is go. Is that time of day now? For the Sharps Brother? Huh? Is okay. Time to, um, so this is the Sharps Brothers receiver. Everybody saw it. Yeah. Okay. So it is in the building. It is in the building. Do you guys want to give that away? Yeah, you can pull my number. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, so let's do – are you guys ready? Are you ready to do the Sharps Brothers thing? Watch that, but he's going to have to give it away. Yeah. No, Tim, your number's got to come up, my friend. I wasn't able to get a number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know you bought some tickets. Who, me? Yes. I bought some. Walter bought some. But you guys did it to be – 
Nice. Um, I did it so yes, I did it so to be nice, but I also did it so that I could win something. <laughs> really, you could win. Rifle. Hank wants that gun behind him. <laughs> you know, if you win this, you, your ass is grass. I mean, uh, you ain't ever gonna. Whatever. Uh, I'll never win anything ever again. <laughs> well, I mean, it's they're they're gonna chew you up. You know that. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Absolutely. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I already got it. haters. I already got haters. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. No, that's I'm not fair. Worried. I ain't so, scared. I ain't scared of no hate. Yeah. Listen, so far we've given away two things and it's not gone to anyone. No. That you know. Yeah. And that's good. I'm happy. I'm happy for the people that win the stuff. No, don't ruin it for me. Come on. So here we go. Okay. So you guys are getting ready to numbers. Let me know when you guys are ready. So that we're not just locked on. You're ready now? Okay, yeah. go ahead, paste it in. Okay, so there we go. All of them. Crap ton of names in there. You see people are in there multiple times. First time. Multiple times. So this is the first the first uh spin that we're gonna do. Scroll faster. <laughs> second time. Okay, this is the second one. Okay. And third time. Okay. Come on, big money. So there you go, Chang Padilla. So Chang Padilla, that is the winner right there, right? right. You guys? Yes, you confirm that? Yes. Okay, Chang Padilla, that's the person who won. I think that's Padilla, but. Padilla, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, yeah, but I, well, okay. Uh, it, it, it may be, I, I don't know. Um, yes, it's either Padilla or Padilla, but close enough. It's probably Padilla. Good. So I don't know if he's I don't know if he's in the chat if he's watching right now. Um, let's make sure we do do thumbs ups, guys. So congratulations to him. Let's just show that again. What Chang won? He won the Sharps Brothers. Yeah, bring it. There you go. Bring it in. That's awesome. You cool. won a receiver. The price. Yeah. Very nice. Good price. Yeah. Shout out to the Sharps Brothers, guys, dudes. Levels, high AR mount. Yeah. Can you? Can we see inside? I'm, I know it's just a receiver, but can we, like, yeah, there you go. Flip it over a little bit. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's made very well. Yeah, yeah. so now all you got to do is just uh, put the parts in. And we're, uh, we're building one for... Uh... Him right now a 6.5 yeah. on this so that's serialized right i'm assuming that's the that's serialized yeah, it's ffl stuff there yeah but uh i hate that there it goes yeah so there you go congratulations chang to you you have won the receiver so what's the next prize coming up after we chit chat a little bit here what's the next prize that's coming up no, the the I think it's gonna be the um yeah I think uh, it's gonna be the AK right. You go M ninety A. M ninety A. Yes, which you guys do you guys have that there or no? Yeah, I'm he's got, he's going to grab it. Oh, okay, right. cool. There you go. Okay, so congratulations. Let's uh. Um, I'm guessing Chang isn't here in the chat, so we can't get to talk to him. But you know. Lots of congratulations going out to you. So, you know, please, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs ups. We appreciate all the thumbs ups that we can get. Like I said, if you hate us, you can go ahead and click the thumbs downs too. I don't care. It's all good. So this is the next prize that we're going to do in a few minutes. You want to show it, Mark? Sure. Uh, this is the M90A. Mm. We built these a long time ago. There was only about 500 kits imported. And this is as close a representation as you can get. It's a it's a bead blasted oxided receiver. So it, it's very similar to uh, the original. And uh, it's one of the few, it's got a kind of a special barrel contour that is uh, can't. OK, yeah, right. Um, that is meant for accuracy. Uh, it's trimmed down here and it gets a little bit fatter at the end and it's uh, 
to deal with harmonics. It's an 18 inch barrel chrome lined. Uh, it's one of their, their later uh, innovations. Um, and it's an under folder with adjustable gas. Okay, awesome. Very, cool. very cool. So we'll talk about that. Uh, Tim, uh, let's see who's asking this question. Dave R says, what's the official ticket count? Is it 1,001 or 1,000? Because that drawing had 1,000. I think it's actually 1,000, but I thought it was 1,001 because of the way the chart is, right? The very top has name and number. And that's the first, that's number one. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. It's 1,000 tickets. Got yeah, it. it's actually 1,000 tickets. So there you go, Dave R. I hope that answered your questions. So, you know, um, the range one is in here with us right now. So there you go. Thank you very much. Rockhopper01 says, man, God bless the commies. That is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Yugoslavians kind of did their own thing with AKs, too. They didn't necessarily follow the – they didn't follow Soviet pattern stuff. They did, no, they, they, they did everything they could. They had a lot of national identity uh, going right. on here because every, there isn't nothing. we got to make everything special for a Yugo. Yeah, yeah, they and also the the Serbs and the Yugos really make good optics too, from what I understand. So if you get it, you find any of that stuff surplus, it's good stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. And Dave R says he was just trying to uh, prevent anyone complaining. Uh, yeah, I realize that, Dave. We're trying to keep everything above board, so everything's all good here. Uh, he wants to know about the mag. What's the question about the magazine? Oh, it uses a unique mag, that gun. Oh, he's asking, uh, he says, he says, am I rocking a 20-round Hungarian tanker mag in that Krebs? No, what's happening? This, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Mark. The, I'm sorry, the Yugo is 223, and it's got a proprietary magazine for it, which is available. Oh, yeah, okay. As a matter of fact, I have a five or six of them right here. <laughs> oh, golly, he sure does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have one of those uh, rifles, actually. I bought one of those kits way back when. So, yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah, I wasn't sure if Mark was talking about this thing that's behind me. This is part of the uh, tactical wall setup, so that the gun, this gun, can click into it. That's not an actual magazine. It just looks like one. So that's what's going on behind me. And then that, then that, um, that gun that you have, Mark, is a two-two-three. Yes. Okay. So there you and go. Tactical walls, by the way, is all vet owned company. Yes, absolutely. Tactical walls, good guys. Uh, you're saying they're there. Everyone is a. I know we had uh, we had the founder on, and I do believe he he was a veteran, right? Tim, I think that I think his name his name's Tim, right? He was on. We had we did a show with him. <laughs> good luck with me remembering anyone's name. Was it not Tim? I thought it was Tim. Yeah. Okay. See, I, I got it, woman. I was better than I thought. I'd, I'd, I'd follow that line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that. Lolo was giving me like an evil eye. That's the reason. That's why. <laughs> now she's now she's rolling her eyes at me. Yeah. Giving yes. that, giving you that, they're giving the rock uh, that one eye, one eyebrow up look that, that the yeah. rock does. Mm. Yeah. So um, okay, someone said they just got here. I'm trying to see who that is. Um, so I think it's David, I think it's uh, Rambo David just got here and he wants to know who the winner is. So do we want to go back over who won so far? Tim from Krebs, you guys want to do that? We have uh, Sean Manspeaker with uh, the Circle 10 AK accessories, um, Michael R. Peterson for JMAC accessories, and then Chang Hadila for the Krebs Pro MB47 AK receiver. Yeah, awesome. So there you go. We've given away three prizes so far. I think we've got three more. We've got three more to go. So the night is still young. The night is still young. Okay. So any other um, any other cool gun stuff? Who wants to take the the floor here and talk yes, while I look through to see what uh, new stuff I had on my radar? Uh, see, we heard we were going to be on the show with Mark, so we had to bring uh, bring our own AK in to the fold there. Okay. okay. So, uh, so what is your AK? Explain it. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of hate comments in the. <laughs> what is a century? Yeah. Yeah, it looks century like a century. Century 47. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how is that working out for you guys? We're uh, what two thousand rounds? A little over two thousand yeah. rounds into it, and it's uh, 
It's had what one bobble? Yeah, it had one, but we think it's that uh, it's what like is it? Tula, Tula, Tula ammo. ammo, cheap ammo. Okay. And when you say you had one bobble, what was the bobble that happened? It ejected, but it, it kind of stovepiped. Okay. Out. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, know that happens. Yeah. That happens from yeah. time to time. Yeah. Yeah. It's an all right gun, though. I mean, it's you know, we take it out there, we beat it up, and bring it home and don't clean it, and take it back out and beat it up and bring it back home. And don't clean I cleaned it. it once now. Yeah, it's been cleaned once out of two thousand rounds. So. So what modifications have you guys done to it, if any? A sling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That what kind of, yeah. Yeah. What kind of sling do you have on there? It's a what, paracord. Yeah, it's a paracord. Point yeah. eBay sling. So you made you? Sling. Oh, you yeah. bought it from eBay. Okay. Yeah, it's just. We a, clean ours every three hundred rounds. We, we we dunk it into a five gallon bucket of water. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Absolutely. That's cool. Did any of you guys on, on the internet, I just happened across it, we were talking about the Yugos or the Serbs. Did any of you guys see it where some American paratroopers just recently did a jump with the Serbian guys over and over there? No. I just, I thought, uh, I, I found it kind of um, interesting since, you know, not too long in the past here, we bombed the crap out of Serbia. Uh, well, during Bill Clinton's administration, uh, I guess that wasn't, that was not real recent, but mm -hmm. I guess, it, I guess we patched up our relations with the Serbs and, uh, and uh, we're uh, we're sharing a uh, sharing love with them. So, honestly, but whatever. What was that, Mark? I missed it. Was that? I don't even know why they're talking to us, but I'm glad they are. Yeah, well, you know, it's good to be friends with a lot of different people. You know, instead of being enemies with half the world. <laughs> right. Um. I I I think I remember that whole thing. But why did we bomb the Serbians again? Because the Serbs were killing the Muslims. Oh, okay. And you know what? That that got us far, didn't it? Oh, and I'll leave it. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. At, I'll leave it. I'll leave I that. Probably at, never asked that question. I'll leave it at that. That that progressed our our chances in the world so much better, didn't it? Okay, I'll stop with that. So. <laughs> Did a good job, right? Yeah, we'll just let that go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, all right. It got so, quiet all of a sudden. What happened? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm I'm reading the comments. I'm oh, the comments. okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, Nitro Zoo seventy six wants to know if the winner chooses the three thousand rounds, what brand and grain weight is the ammo? So that one's for Mark. Standard Wolf, uh, one twenty three grain ball ammo, blasting okay. ammo. There you go. So Wolf one twenty three, blasting ammo. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so NYPD there. still has revolvers. That doesn't make any sense. They're getting rid of the last ones, I guess. Yeah. Well, who's walking around in the NYPD with revolvers? Well, um, uh, no comment. <laughs> um, uh, I know, I know. I'm yeah. trying to see because that's uh, the firearms blog has an article about that. Yeah, I saw that. I read that. Yeah, I'm trying to see how many revolvers they think are out there. Um, well, that's a. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't yeah. think you can figure that out overnight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they don't want to know how know. many are out there. Yeah, they'll never know. They'll never yeah, know they'll how never many know. have gotten lost. How many have gotten? Yeah, conveniently lost. Yes. Yeah, lost. Stuff. How many are sitting? How many are sitting at home with retired retired guys? Yeah. 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 Um. I guarantee one, you. One of the things that we didn't talk about last night, uh, I can't even remember what the heck we were doing last night. Yeah. But we didn't talk about the whole thing with um, with the uh, the Kate uh, Steinle case. Yeah, I heard about that today. Steinle yeah. case. Which one's that? Uh, oh, you the know the guy, the guy that um, the pier shooting, the guy that came across the border illegally, and oh, I guess I he did it several times, and and he accidentally killed the woman. Yeah, he accidentally yeah. killed her. So the only thing they convicted him of is having a. Uh, Illegal gun possession. All right, so let me let me ask the board here about that. I saw that they put out an arrest warrant for him. So are you telling like a me federal that, federal? Are, are you telling me that they let him walk after he wasn't convicted and he's he's here illegally? Uh, well, crazy. there's no way they could have let him walk if they convicted him on gun charges. But well, okay, well that's why I'm asking: Is he in, still in 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 custody, or is he out running around loose? I'm assuming he's still in custody. Well, 
that's an assumption that I don't think I'd be willing to make in California. But anyways, <laughs> uh, um, to Florida. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess he probably needs to have an accident. Uh, yeah, Florida. <laughs> he's yeah. What? Well, yeah. Um, uh, even if what he said was true, uh, certainly he should have gotten manslaughter. I I I don't understand if his what he says is true. Why did he not get manslaughter? <laughs> At least. <laughs> right. said, I, mean, I don't know if I can spell California right all at uh, one time. So, yeah. so, the, so the thing he got convicted of is uh, maximum, a maximum sentence of three years. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, yeah. But they're supposed to get into the... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So there's a lot of people calling to boycott San Francisco. Um <laughs> They just figured this out. We've been doing that yeah, for you're not safe. San Francisco is officially not America. People could do whatever they want to you over there mm -hmm. and get away with it. Even though California has all these stupid rules against people being able to protect themselves, um, other people can just do whatever they want and kill people and get away with it. That's what San Francisco is saying, basically. So, yeah, I don't. Th you shouldn't go to places like San Francisco, man. I would avoid those kinds of places like the plague. <laughs> Yeah, because well, they yeah. So yeah, that should just become a ghost city. What was that, Mark? I said I used to live there, so I do. <laughs> yeah. Go there. Yeah. 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 So yeah, when's the last time you went back to San Francisco? Mm, maybe twenty years ago. Oh hell, that don't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably changed a lot in the last twenty years. That don't count, man. Northern California when we we, we might have gone through it at the airport, but yeah. Mr. Holster says, why go to California, period, which I agree with. And then uh, Smeggy. Awesome state. It's the buttheads that have moved there that have destroyed it. It's a beautiful state. I used to live there. Geogra Geography doesn't really have anything to do with mindset. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> did, did, I, did I hear, did I mishear that? Did Steve say that nine, that he actually lived in San Francisco? No, not in San Francisco. I lived in uh, uh, Hanford, California, which is just outside of Fresno. California. Oh. What the what the hell were you doing there? <laughs> My dad was in the Navy. My dad's retired Navy, and he was stationed there, so we had to move there for a year. Oh, okay. What yeah. were you saying, Mark? I said Fresno is a, a, a far cry from San Francisco. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, most of the people in the state are probably normal. But as soon as you get near those urban areas, you know, that's when you get the, just like Illinois, hello. Um, that's the sad part about and the, it. And the urban areas run the whole state, you know, and. Yeah, which is crazy. That's that. And yeah. voting's really fair. We've seen that in the last few years. Oh, yeah. You know, there's there's no there's no dead people voting in Chicago or anything. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Or voting um, five or six times. No, no. No, that's not happening. Oh, <laughs> no, yes, never, yes, never, yes, never. Yeah, Schmeggy42 says, if and only the gun was registered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, listen, listen. Do you remember that Trump famously said that he could walk, was it, what did he say? He can walk down Fifth Avenue and shoot someone in the head and he wouldn't get convicted and everyone got mad at him? Remember that? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so this dude actually did it. <laughs> you know, yep, this yep. guy actually did it, man. He actually went that out there. was his goal to prove Trump right. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm not saying. I mean, this guy did it, and he got away with it because of California, because of San Francisco. And that's the crazy thing. The truth is, um, hopefully in America, if Trump did something like that or anyone does something like that, you know, they, justice is dealt to them. I don't care who it is, but well, in the case of this guy, justice was not dealt to him for a lot of different reasons, which we all understand. Well, so my question is, how different would the verdict have been if it would have happened in Texas? <laughs> Probably depends on what part of Texas, because there's some some places in Texas, from what I hear, that are just as bad as San Francisco. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't tempt yeah. myself in Texas. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, well, anyways, okay. Yeah. Uh, Rocket ninety one wants to know, Mark, can we expect a Krebs Custom M ninety two handguard in the near future? M ninety two. That's the um, two two three pistol. 
Uh, I would have to look it up because I have I'm no not clue. Sure, which one there? I don't know. I Speaking get all of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> M92. That's a Yugo gun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pap. Yeah. Uh, we may. It, it's um, it's hard to say. They they have a different floor in, a floor in yeah. flange, and it doesn't necessarily uh, match the extrusion that we make. However, that used to be a drawback until we made it for a uh, our new M lock rail for a, uh, a Yugo gun or not M11. FM11, and um, so we we will be probably coming out with one. We we gotta we gotta check it out yet. And things have been kind of slowed up because we had to spend damn near two months tooling up for uh, building the guns that we're building now. Right. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so there you go. So has um has Babyface been in the chat tonight? Any chance? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Oh, because he's posting on Facebook. That's why I was just wondering. He's he's out in the I mad. Think I think he's out in the mad shop. scientist shop tonight. So yeah, he's probably working on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's Here's see what else is going on here. Um, um, so someone would like to know when are you guys gonna sell a Vepper slant back gas block FSB combo? Uh -huh. So that is Mikhail Lombardi. He would like to know that. Well, it's not bad. You, you know, have that look on your face like when <laughs> cows <laughs> shit go <laughs> bricks. <laughs> well, guns are gone and, and making, you know, I mean, we have to buy at least 100. And uh, we, we have, uh, like, our gas blocks cost us. By the time we put them on, a hundred bucks, and uh, if we had a hundred people signed up for them, we'd make them. But right, right, right. Okay. okay. Because we've done this before, and then nobody buys. You watch, them. Five you watch the you watch the stuff sit on the shelf. Yeah. 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 Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Babyface says he is here. Babyface is in the chat, Walter. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I see it now. I see it. And uh, nine oh, someone who said nine oh four outdoors looks like a snowflake. <laughs> I think it was range one. Oh, he's just messing with you. It's a snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Do these dudes look like snowflakes right here? Because <laughs> I think it's completely like that, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the first redneck snowflakes ever. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get snow in Florida? It just yeah. don't happen. It happens about every twenty years. There's a. I was gonna say 1989. Snow. It snowed here. Right, right, and that, and that's yeah. when it, it snowed. I went to New Orleans that year, my first time with my wife, to meet her family and stuff, and it snowed there too. So, yeah. Well, actually, why did you? Why did you? You know, I'm trying to like. Why did I go? I'm trying to channel Freud right now, but when you said. You, the wife and family and stuff. You looked over your shoulder suspiciously. No, I mean, <laughs> you did, see, you did that move. You did. Yeah, what's that all about? Just to see if she's close by. I don't have any problem. No. Uh, do you have something against her family or something? No. I, the reason something I went to New Orleans, the reason I went to New Orleans that year was to meet them and make sure that they were all, um, you know, palatable. Oh, okay. How were they? Fat chick, <laughs> oh, crazy. They're normal. They're normal folk, just like everybody else. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you know. Now I can see you resisting you looking over your shoulder. Normal <laughs> people. What's that? Say that again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Are you normal people? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I don't, I don't have any horns or anything growing out of my head or anything. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like you know, like where you know you go and they're all like, "Oh, you, you like guns, right? Well, you're weird." No, I didn't get none of that stuff. So. Oh, okay. All right. You know, everybody. They're normal. Well, normal, you know, people. Married, divorce, you know, that kind of normal stuff, not, uh, you know, strange things. Yeah, Merc Maniac says you're probably looking for a dessert. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. Actually. Like, where's the food? <laughs> like, Bring me some food, woman. Oh, there she is. Oh, uh oh. Poked her head in. A SmackDown is about, oh, I thought a SmackDown was about to happen. I was going to lock the screen on you. <laughs> oh, now you got clothes. No dessert for you. <laughs> you know, how, would you, let me say, would you, would you marry into a family where, you just didn't get along with anybody you're asking me this yeah 
Um, I, don't know, yes. I don't know if you did or not. I don't know if you did or not, but I, I wouldn't. Okay, do. let me just say, I married to Lola Strange. Yes, they are batshit crazy in her family. <laughs> <laughs> let me just put that on the record. Yeah. Um, do, can, do they like me? No. Oh, well. So there you go. Uh, yeah. So her, you know, she's African and the African people, you know, have things against me. <laughs> So there you well, go. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. So yes, I know all about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. New Orleans is one of those, you know, as you mentioned that about you being a person of color in New Orleans, um, they, there's a there's a hierarchy with that too, where the people of darker skin are looked down upon than the people with lighter skin, you know, and, and you yeah, learn about been, that, you know, because, they, yeah. they, you know, it's... It, yeah, that's been going on for a long time. I mean, that's even like before slavery, before, I mean, obviously before America, before slavery or whatever, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's been going, you know. Or I would say like a caste system, like it is in India. Yeah, the, I mean, it's not as bad as India, because India's caste system has nothing to do with like your complexion. If you're born in a lower. Right, right. Uh, that's lower, where you are. That's where you Yeah, are. they don't give a crap how many billions you make. Right, yeah. You can be the smartest guy in the world if you're down they there. They don't you're give down a crap. There. No, you're, you're out forever. Right, right. You know? so. so it's the same thing like with me. You know, my mom's Indian, but, um, but you know, her, her family for a couple of generations were in Guyana. So Indians from India look down on them because they're like, okay, those Indians left. Right. So those aren't really Indians, yeah. believe it or not. Oh. So I've had people from India tell me, yeah, you're not really Indian. So no. they, they, they believe in the caste system more than anyone. Because right, right, so. right. well, they're, the, they're not in the bottom. And that's another, yeah. that's another reason. Well, yeah, yeah. That, that would be the reason. Yeah. yeah. On the African side, it's a completely different thing. Um, people don't realize this, but Africans in general don't like black Americans or black people from anywhere else other than Africa because they figured that when slavery happened, people believed that some white people came to Africa and kidnapped all these Africans. And that happened a little bit, but mostly what happened is Africans sold, sold their own people into slavery. So the, the people that are descendant of those people, which would be me, lots of black Americans and, you know, uh, well, every black American and black people all over the world that aren't African, they look down on them. And they don't have a lot of respect for them. So there you go. Yeah. You know, it's a weird, it's a weird, crazy thing. I think they would have rather Lola married a white dude than married me. So well, they, I know, I know, I heard the story that when Obama went back to um, the homeland, he was made. He was talked about behind his back and laughed at and everything too, because he is what he is, you know. And yeah, you know. he's laughed at and talked behind his back here. Well, but I mean, by his own yeah. people yeah. over yeah. there, by his can't own get a break. <laughs> the two actually, can't get actually, a break. actually, relation to him didn't care for him. So, you know, that's yeah. Well, because it's kind of weird if you're the president of, of, of the the. Well, you I know. think before he was before he was yeah. the pres. He oh, went before back, oh went before back to the homeland to um. You know, to get some roots, I guess, and um, the relation didn't care for him too much because he had of mixed race, so to speak. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, the way that, it, that everything goes down, and, and it depends on what part of Africa you go to and all that. But you know, the thing is, what Africans want from us is our money. Well, of course, they will respect <laughs> you. Like you ever <laughs> noticed? Like remember, call it uh, what is it, Colin Kaepernick? He went, yeah. he went to Ghana. That's where Lola's from. And they threw this whole big party and they're all dancing. And everyone's like, oh, my God, they're treating him like a king. If you go back to Africa, they treat you like a king. Yeah, you are bringing money. If he didn't yeah. have no money, he'd just be yeah. another brother. You know, yeah. that's when all you that. come with your monies, they love you. If right, you come right. over there and you don't have any money, they don't give a crap about you. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it does. It makes sense. Hey. I mean, it's not just Africa. There's lots of countries no, around the world. No, it's the same way. It doesn't matter where you go. Yeah. It's it's, yeah. yeah, there's lots of places that you go to in the world, and they only like you if you're American because they're like, oh, so it's American money. Show us what you got. Yeah, <laughs> or if they, or if their asses are getting kicked and they need someone to save their asses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they like it, yeah. All right, <laughs> so, so what are we giving away now? Oh yeah, let's do a give. Let's do a giveaway before the time runs out. Sorry about getting into that. I didn't mean that. Yeah, that's all your fault, Walter. I know, I know. I couldn't help myself. You go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's the give? Oh yeah. So where's the? Let's see. Let's bring that out. Where Where did Tim go? I'll get back on track Tim. here. Tim's here. Um, by the way, the range one wants to know if Mark ever goes to Aurora Sportsman's Club. 
Yeah, I've so, heard of it, and I, I think I've been there. Been in probably every shooting range around here. Um, so when you go to shooting ranges in your area, is there like, is there a plaque there for you? Do you have like a nice statue, like how they gave, you know, they gave uh, Kalishnikov a statue? <laughs> <laughs> but I did get kicked out of one. Um, <laughs> oh, so there's like signs saying, don't let this guy in. <laughs> well, I, I took a, a Russian kid that was working for me over there, and the range officer was a... Oh. Not a nice person. One of those. And, Just um, say one of those. <laughs> the conversation ended up when I said, why are you... You such a fucking jag off, and uh, then the, <laughs> my, but uh, later on he got uh, somebody recorded him uh, saying I could say anything I want. I could you know talk about the president and all this, and then oh, the Secret okay. service went and saw him. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. that is it was good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's get ready for this, Tim. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, so here we go. We're, we sh go ahead and sh uh, show the gun one more time, Mark, that we're going to be giving away. If I don't know if it's still there. It might not be there. Don't right. spill anything on the computer. There <laughs> <laughs> <So> you go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the gun. All right, so we're going to... Are you doing Star Wars music? All right, so let's pull up the let's pull up the picking machine. <laughs> pull up the picking machine. Yeah, I saw some dude at McDonald's today. He's had a Star Wars shirt on, and then he had he had Mandalorian stuff tattooed on him. Oh, really? And I'm like, yeah. man, that's a serious. Yeah, that's going far. That's yeah, going yeah. a bit far. <laughs> If it's a temporary tattoo, I get it. If it's some no, kind of sticker, this is real stuff. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, but you know, you're a real fan if you uh, tattoo the stuff on permanently on the body. Okay, so the numbers are in there. All right. Everyone's in there. First time. So there you go. That's number yeah. one. Someone. Scroll down faster, Tim. Scroll. <laughs> go go go. <laughs> Second time. There we go. And third time for the win. The winner is. So there you go, Dax Prosciutto. Dax Prosciutto. That is the winner of the Yugo, Dax Prosciutto. I don't know if he's in the chat here or. That's truly a neat gun. Yeah. So, Dax Prosciutto, congratulations to you. Lucky uh, Dave, winner there. Dave, Dave R. says, and my heart shatters. <laughs> oh, oh, again. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, the, so, go ahead, show the gun again one, one more time, Mark. Um, so, there we go. We can show the gun one more time. So, Dax Prosciutto, you won this. Congratulations to you, sir. Thanks, Thanks for participating. And, and thank, thanks for everyone for participating. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I know how raffles are, and uh, I I pony up to raffles myself. And I'm just uh, really glad that people were nice enough to, yeah, you know, in a way, it's really a donation when they're when they're trying to buy it, and and uh, one could get one, but yeah. Uh, and there's lots of congratulations. One of the things I like about the, the folks that support what we're doing here, they are not like, you know, they, they don't have charcoal in their heart, I guess is the best way to put it, because they're, con they're congratulating everyone, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, th you know, congratulations to you. They won. They, they, you know, there's no vinegar. You know, they're not. They're not mad at anyone for winning. Damn you. You took my rifle. Damn you. Yeah, they're good guys. They're good guys. <laughs> Outside, Damn anyway. uh, like I said, one guy wanted to give his gun a, if he won. He said, "Flip it for Kurt." Yeah, and Katie. Uh, uh, Mikhail Lombardi says, "Why isn't Jim Fuller in this podcast?" Uh, <laughs> well, you know what? We didn't actually reach out to Jim. <laughs> Yeah, he's busy, but he's he is here in spirit. And then uh, Mikhail also goes 
goes on to say, I heard Conor McGregor put them knuckles on him. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> He'd be definitely done forever. Was Conor McGregor in some kind of fight in Las Vegas I don't know about? That was I the. I don't uh, keep up with this. Like out of the ring fight, you mean? The boxing match that he was in. Oh, what with the. Uh, with Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah, that was like the biggest fight of the century. Yeah, you know, it, he did, lost. it ended one one round or two. <laughs> no, they went. It went like eight rounds. Round. They went the whole thing. Okay. Like that. Yeah. It went a while. So. It was um, it's so, totally fake. Okay, so what is he like done now? He's not boxing it. He, no, he's back at UFC. He he called out more. Uh, he called out Mayweather, and they, they and Mayweather wanted it as a boxing match, not a UFC fight. I want to see Mayweather go to UFC. I think that'd be great. <laughs> okay. He would die. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know. I I wouldn't do it if I was Mayweather. But okay. <laughs> um. So I can't say I, I can't say who this is, Mark. But there's someone here in the chat that says, um, "Ask Mark how his tummy is feeling. He ate a sandwich at lunch that sat out, and at lunch that sat out since yesterday." So oh, something. that would be my smart ass employee, Andrew. Um, that. Uh, <laughs> that now and oh uh, uh oh former former <laughs> former employee <laughs> oh that's someone who's no longer no let me not start let me not, let me not start that no, he's kind and of he's and he's now cleaning the toilets at Krebs Customs <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to invent things to make Andrew do Mark we could do that yeah yeah, why don't you have uh, why don't you have the, the guests uh, come up with what new tasks you know I could assign him? Uh, yes. uh, I like think that. I think we should have him clean the toilets with a toothbrush. Let's uh, start there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, you guys, you guys, you have any you have any ideas? Nine oh four guys. We could be the taste tester for the week old sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the do you guys have like a community refrigerator? Yes. Yeah. I would make him eat all the stuff that's been uh, in there. Uh, uh, that, that's that's uh, like the stuff that's lost in the refrigerator. <laughs> no one wants to eat anymore. Green uh, growing on. Yeah. Definitely make him clean out the refrigerator. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so okay. he's a bum. Yeah. Walter, <laughs> do you have any ideas? What do you do at your shop when uh, dudes get out of hand? Well, they don't. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, I have a, I have a varied That's age recipe, group. Will you? I have a varied age group at the shop. I have all the way from my father's age down to like 22, I think. So, um, yeah, there's not too much out of hand stuff. Um or, or you know, crazy stuff. Not, not normally. Um, sometimes there's some dumb stuff. Twenty one. Oh yeah, there you go. So, and my son works for me too. He's he's twenty uh, four or five, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mike um, Bryant says Walter believes in Southern justice. Southern justice. Nobody gets out alive. What we, we, we got yeah, used to hell is yeah. What is, is that? The, is that justice? the is that the rope and oak tree in the back or what? I mean, no, I don't know. <laughs> No, yeah. no, we don't have any problems like that. No, I mean, yeah, uh, nothing too out of crazy. Yeah, just welders welding stuff on backwards every once in a while and things like that. So, uh huh. I had okay. that. I had that today, but <laughs> oh, you she, had that today? Yeah, she didn't. Mean, she didn't. Yeah, I've done it before too myself. So, um, but it was it went welding a grip on a shotgun and she put the hinge on backwards. So, yeah. Um, Okay. It was it was fixable, so it wasn't the end yeah. of the world. So. Um, and Dave R says, um, "Did you guys ever think of doing uh, raffles in general? Like, um, you know, they're saying that some people can't put up the two K for a rifle, but they're willing to put up like sixty bucks towards buying some tickets. You ever think about doing this raffle thing more, Mark? Um, maybe. I this is the first raffle we've ever done, and." Uh, um, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Um, okay. Just opened our eyes to a couple of things, and uh, mainly we've been concentrating on Kurt, but there's also uh, 
thing to have learned from it. I, I don't know. I did answer. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, uh, uh, my son says a dunk tank. A dunk tank. Fun, yeah. dunk tank. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, as long as it's not an acid bath or something. You gotta, like you gotta get somebody in the dunk tank first. How are you gonna get them in a the dunk tank? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So the next thing, let's do the next thing because we're at eight thirty-five. So are we doing the fuller class next? Yes. Yeah. So let's do the fuller class, and um, you want to just explain that again, Mark? Okay. Um, what's going on is uh, Jim is teaching a personal class. Uh, the person does have to come up with their own parts and stuff because Jim doesn't really own the company anymore. Uh, but he has a personal investment in this because someone that he knows that's near and dear to him can come to the same thing. And um, it, it's... Uh, yeah, so he... Um labor of love and um so he's donating you know um, a personal build course yeah so all you have to do is get out there obviously to vegas and find a place to stay it's a personal one-on-one -on -one class with jim fuller and you you also need to uh, supply the materials but 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 uh jim fuller will walk you through building that gun that's a pretty cool deal. And then, like you said, Mark, I mean, you know, somewhere upwards, it's like 4K if you want to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. So are we ready to uh, pull that up and see who gets to have this class? I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, stoked to see who gets to win this. Um, opt out of gun control. Walter says the PPSH is freaking great. <laughs> they're fun. So they, yeah. And uh, so we're go. saying um, with good ammo, they're fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No uh, 30 Luger. Rocket 91 says Krebs has the best triggers hands down. So. Drum roll, please. Okay. So here we go. We're randomizing it the first time. This is for the for what I think is a pretty damn cool prize to hang out with Jim Fuller and have him uh, help assist you in making your own AK. It's pretty badass. Just the ounce. All right, second time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Roll down. Okay. And third time for the winner. Boom! Juan Guerra. Juan Guerra. There you go. Juan Guerra, Are that's, you in the, the, house? Guy. Are you that's in the, house? the guy who gets the class with Jim Fuller. What? So there you go, Juan. I don't know if he's watching the chat right now. Um, I hope you guys are clicking the thumbs ups and all that kind of stuff and sharing this out. But uh, congrats. Up, yeah, everyone's giving congrats right now to uh, Juan. Congrats to him. That's a pretty cool prize. I think that's right up there with, with, with the gun. In my opinion, you know, the gun's awesome from Krebs, but also that class with, uh, with or that personal private tutelage, tutelage. with Jim Fuller is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Make you sure you show up. Make sure you show up with a worthy kit. All right. Don't show up with some <laughs> um, piece of <clears throat> kit. Well, I think he said he could get the materials um, and they would need to buy them. I, I think he's going to supply the materials. Uh, just he can't get them away. Is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Yes, I think you'll be well, able to get them. them. Yeah, that, uh, building something out of crap. Uh, <laughs> you end up with a lot of crap stuff. Crap. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you know, I, another thing I would like to say is that Walter and Hank have been. Very, uh, I mean, this this couldn't have happened nearly as well as it did if it wasn't for you guys. Oh, thank you. Yes, thanks a lot. We appreciate that. You know, uh, we're we're happy to help out, man. You know, yep, yep. and we ended up raising seventeen eight or something like that, just under uh, yeah eight, and uh, that's cool. 
helpful. Uh, we were hoping to do a little bit better, but I, I don't care uh, if yeah. we can. But I, yeah. you know, of course, I'd like to give them the world if I could, but. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You know, that's not exactly where we wanted it to get to, but I think everyone out there was very generous. And and I think it's, you know, um, the, the folks, the Rasmussen family that are getting this, they really appreciate it. So, um, I, I yeah. Wish could, yeah, I wish you could see it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and Andrew Rockwell is saying that uh, Jim Fuller did say that he would help that person get those parts at cost. You know, it's going to be something good. It's th That's a really good prize. Fine. So there you go. It's a really good prize. Um, the Krebs guys are going to send you an email. Like I said, everyone that wins here is going to get an email from Krebs. They will reach out to you. If you feel like they did it, like they didn't reach out to you, you can uh, call them up and everything. But... You know, they've got more data than what they're showing here. Email, 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 right? Yes, sir. Yeah. You don't, we don't want to encourage a bunch of people to call up and try to scam you. You know, so there you go. I, I don't think the people involved here are that type of person. Obviously. No, absolutely not. You know, so there you go. Um, lots of people are happy for Juan. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Yes. Yeah, so there you go. Cool. And uh, we've got one more prize that we are going to give away. It's 841 right now for anyone who's watching live. Thank you for hanging out with us and watching live. Is that Congrats. the best? That would be called the grand prize, possibly? Yes, the grand prize is coming up. The grand prize. And pretty much this is what I'm going to take it off of here if I can get it off. I don't know if I can get it off this thing. That's going to be fun. Okay, here we go. So this it. is the grand prize. Yeah. This, if I drop it, it's it's you know it's a pretty tough thing. This is the grand prize right here, a Krebs custom KB13 Mod 2 with a can. boom, a boom, a chaotic suppressor up on this bad boy. There you go. That's pretty. pretty. Suppressor, uh, yeah, we're the ones that donated that, and uh, they make a very good suppressor. Absolutely, Liberty, you're good guys. Um, I'm actually working on a project with the Liberty folks. I um, have no idea when that's coming out, but we're working on something that we'll share with you guys when it happens, when it goes down. Well, like what? Um, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Um, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with their name. <laughs> oh, you want to know what I'm doing for reals? I just don't give a shit. Oh, okay. That's what I figured. I figured you were just trying to give me... Yeah. They, they make suppressors, so that gives you guys a clue of what I'm doing with them. <laughs> probably suppressing the gun, huh? Yeah, yeah. We're probably, we're probably suppressing something. I'm like, yeah, I'm psychic like that. Yeah, yeah. You, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank yes. you. Yes. Um, the amazing Krebs. So, yeah, this, so this is what, you know, this is what it's going to be pretty awesome. And we are, you know, we're giving that away really soon here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, the 904 guys are like, damn, we didn't win anything. <laughs> yeah. What's the MSRP on that thing? Um, Mark, you want to cover that? The MSRP? What what is what is this? What is the uh the prize package here valued at? Oh. Wait, why do you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were just giving me shit now. <laughs> what comes around goes around. <laughs> Very you. close to three thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with wow. that. Yeah, or maybe a tad more. I'm not sure, but uh, right in there. Oh. By the way, we have Kurt Rasmussen in the chat hanging out, guys. Um, and, and folks out there are, are um, the, the, the guys in the chat are talking to him. Um, so here's what he says. I don't know if this is his first comment, but he says the help to us is unbelievable. Thank you all so very much, Kurt and Katie Rasmussen. So That's him. Um, yeah. Yeah, so they appreciate it, guys. They appreciate everything. Um, Merc Maniac says it around twenty eight hundred. I, yeah, I think that it is safely in the three thousand dollar zone. You know, the value of the gun and the can. Oh, is, is that including tax stamps and all that good garbage? Too? Uh, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. it's probably that's that's not including tax stamp. <laughs> I'll pay for the tax stamp. Oh, awesome! There you wow. go. Yeah. Now I'm really hoping I win this thing. <laughs> Strange, if you win that some bitch, you are up shit in the creek. <laughs> you lose all your viewers. 
I don't care. I'll go, I'll go down. I go down. Da- I go down in, the, in flames of glory. <laughs> he just wants to do the two fisted thing. One yeah. in each. One in each. Yeah, there you go. No, I hope that I, I hope that all you guys out there, I wish you luck with it. You know, I know there's so many good people out there. Everyone that contributed to this is a good person for getting involved. And honestly, I hope you, you know, I do hope you you all win out there. So thank you, Hank. Yeah. So <laughs> Walter, if you win, you know what's happening. Uh-huh. <laughs> I already told you. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah, many um, times, many times. Yeah. So you guys want to do that? You want to do this now, Mark? We could. Yeah, let's do it now, so that you know, once we do this, we'll chat for the rest of the time right, that we have. Good morning. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but Kurt Resmussen says Katie is here too, and so very grateful. So um, you know, th- th- you know, you guys are welcome, and uh, we hope that this is helping out at least in some small way especially now that we're going into holidays and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, happy to help you guys out. And of course we got to thank, you know, Mark Krebs is big hearted guy here for yeah. getting involved in organizing all this stuff. So, and we want to thank everyone else that was involved in it. J Mac custom circle 10, AK Jim Fuller, um, the sharps, sharps bros. Okay. Of course you, uh, yeah, Strange, you, right? Family and uh, everybody else on social media and, and Walter and everything. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, so did we do? Did we? So we put the names in. Names are all in. All right. All right. First time. There we go. And second time. Okay. And for the finale. And here we go. What's the name? Brandon and Pam. I don't know who that is. Uh, Brandon and Pam. Yeah. So I guess people were able to that put in their Brandon. own names on this. So the winner of this is Brandon and Pam. <laughs> so there you go. Brandon and Pam. I don't know who that is, but. Um, is it the I'm wife wanted sure, it on the action I'm sure you, is that what it is? Yeah, I'm sure you. they have. Uh, Krebs has the email that these guys use, so. Yeah, we're we're gonna email everybody and we'll work with them if yeah. there are problems. Yeah. If they're in a state where they need something modified, we'll do it. We just want to make yeah. everybody. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Not, you know, there's a, a problem with a, a a present that you have to pay more for down the road. So we'll take care of any of that stuff. Yeah. There's, so. Go ahead. I was going to say if there was imperial complications or, you know, laws, laws, those law things. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So congratulations to Brandon and Pam. Everyone in the chat is saying congratulations, including Kurt Rasmussen. Um, You know, he uh, he says, Mark, you're an amazing friend. He says, congratulations and thank you from um, from them. I wish you guys could know him. He's one of the funniest guys on the planet. A, a, a true loving asshole. He, uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, no, I, I mean. Oh, uh, and 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 I'm I'm like shocked. Why would he be friends with you? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, he, he's a funny guy. I mean, he is just a good-natured, fun guy, and he. I mean, I talk to him about things but he never belly aches about it he just says what he has to do i mean he's a trooper and okay anybody that donated a ticket for this absolutely damn i'm telling you you gave it to the right dude absolutely yeah that's got so you know congratulations to everyone that won we gave away like six awesome freaking prizes here that was pretty that was pretty epic and if you really, 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 really can't find anything to do with those, I can give you my address, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you happen to not want a badass AK with a suppressor. I'll even take a lowly it. sharps brother receiver. Come that, on. That was, yeah. <laughs> help, help a brother out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Walter is saying he's not going to kick a sharps brother receiver out of bed. No, no, never, no. <laughs> and they make it full auto. <laughs> Yeah. That's a possibility. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. So that was very cool. You know, thanks to everyone for, you know, for helping us, helping us with that, for buying tickets, for participating and all that kind of stuff is pretty cool. Uh, I, I can't wait to see it. And I hope the, the folks, when you get your stuff here, share it with us on social media so that we can congratulate you again, but then also show people that we, you know, we, we gave these things out to good folks. I know a couple of the people were here in the chat with us and some of them are probably going to watch this later. Um, you know, Mike Bryan says the receiver was badass. All the stuff was badass. The parts, I really like that um, that stock, that triangle stock. Are you guys going to make anything like that, Mark? Well, that's that's Circle Ten's thing, and we're not going to get into that. Okay. Okay. Cool. So Circle Ten is the place to go to for those. I need to go there. I don't know if they've got any left. Yeah, yeah I need to go there. And uh, yeah, yeah, they they've got more. To, they've definitely got more to sell, and. Uh, so does J Mac and Sharps Brothers and everybody except our customer that gave away the Yugo. Yes, thanks to that guy also who gave it. The, we should definitely give props to that dude. Um, Jabba is love says one of the next KB 13s coming back on Krebs website. When they start importing them again. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are all sold out now, right? I think, I yeah, so, we had yeah. a Black Friday sale and everything, like, vanished, which is great for us because after two months of retooling, we needed the fuel to get our next batch of guns and whatnot. You know, there's only eight people in this shop. This isn't like Motorola or something, you know. I mean. Yeah, so there you go. Andrew Rockwell says even though he didn't win, he bought a Caltech RFB 308 today. Congratulations to you. Nice. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Oh, cool. So, um, cool. John Figueroa says, thanks to everyone for the chances to win. There you go. Um, and then Colin Simpson says, I wish I would have won something, but that's not what it was all about. Glad to help. Thank you for letting me help. So you're welcome. Thanks for helping. So there you go. And Merc Maniac wants to know how much swag comes with those prizes. Are you guys sending out any extra swag with the prizes? We're going to send out some patches and hats and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. Cool. What we would rather do is say you're getting this, and then you get a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. And let's do this for the rest of the time that we have left over. I'll invite the 904 guys, the Krebs guys, Walter. Let's just do gorn, gun porn, for the rest okay. of the time. Let's show what badassery, what kind of cool guns do you guys have to show off? You know, let's let's rock and roll with that stuff. Uh, 904. What do you guys have here? Uh, Ryan can run to the safe real quick. Oh, okay. Right. Holding AR stock adapter. And which uh, which company's adapter, stock adapter, is that? That's the uh, the Deadfoot Arms MCS, the modified cycle system. So it actually shortens the bolt carrier and makes the whole cycle system shorter. Okay, cool. So uh, can you shoot that uh, when it's folded? Yes. That's, that's one of the things I like about it compared to, like, the Law Tactical. You can have it folded and shoot it all day long. Oh, no so difference. not just one round. You can shoot multiple rounds while it's folded? Yeah, you can pop a mag if you want to. Oh, awesome. Very, very sweet. Very nice. Okay, so Brian went to grab some more guns. Mark, do you guys have any cool guns over there to show off to us? Um, you sh I see some stuff. I see a Viking helmet back there, actually. Viking. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a cool consolation prize to everyone who's watching right now to see that Viking helmet on your head. Okay. I think you should don that Viking helmet. <laughs> Won't fit now. <laughs> Let's see. Can we get that on the noggin? Oh no! What do you want? Awesome. There you go. Do anything for money. <laughs> you look. You look like Thor, man. That's pure sexiness. Oh yeah, I'm Thor, buddy. I'm yeah. <laughs> Just whip those locks around. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the thumbnail for this video right now. That's good. I'm sure this is something that's never going to leave me, that picture. <laughs> there we go. That's better now. Okay, look at that. Walter threw on his uh, babushka. Oh, whatever. What's that thing called? I forgot. You told me what it is, Walter. What is it? Yashanka. Yashanka. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so let's see what go – oh. What is this coming uh, out here? Is this a Sten? Yeah, Sten Mark V. We showed yeah. it. We did show it before. Uh, yeah, we did. Um, 
And uh, this was from, we built this uh, thanks to Walter's company. We were able to buy the parts that we could restore properly. Excellent, excellent. Would the guy take off his mask? Oh, <laughs> oh this guy? <laughs> oh, holy crap, what just happened? Freddy! Oh! Freddy! I thought oh. I recognized him. Um, oh, I thought it was Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> For a second. Oh, that's me. Really? Jabba the Gunsmith. Yeah. <laughs> that's scary, right? Okay, no, that's a violation. Whose paint gun is that? That's Brian's. Yeah, that's a total that's a total <laughs> violation right there. <laughs> His girlfriend's gun. It's very oh. pink. Oh. What okay. people like is what people like. No, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. What else? What else do we have? Yeah. Okay. So what were you showing there, Mark? Did, was that it? Did you did we show the guns? Oh, well, we got a, a, a Mac eleven that we built that was Ooh, cool. that's badassery. Got a Uzi Ooh. stock on it. Yeah. Uh, for your regular old bullet hose, uh, and is that a uh, is that a Uzi uh, like a mini Uzi stock on it or something or yeah, it's a mini Uzi stock and uh, threaded for uh, let's we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. I got something. I got something similar to that that Hank hasn't seen. Um, it's got one of those. I got an Ace stock with an Ace an Ace uh, joint folding joint thing on it. Right. Holding mechanism. Yeah, it looks really. It works out really well because the stock's no longer than the receiver of the gun, so it's a real compact package. Yeah. yeah. So Brian Quick says that that um, that that pink rifle that 904 has, and here right now they're showing. Uh, what is that? That is that a Taurus? That's, no. Is that it's a, a Smith and Wesson 686 357 Magnum. Oh, okay. Very cool. Very nice. I like that. Um, so, so Brian Quick says that that pink rifle would go great with this. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get a picture of Babyface with that rifle. Yeah, where is Babyface? Is he still in the chat? He's, he's, he's probably still there. Still there. <laughs> <laughs> Text him a picture of the rifle. Uh, yeah, he likes that. I'm sure he likes that. Babyface just sent me a, a picture of the. He's working on some bluing on that 1903 Colt. Oh, he's working on bluing something. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're showing, we're showing pictures of him while he's uh, he's working on that 1903. He's doing that, yeah. A horrible job. I'm huh? Anybody? That yeah. Does. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's it's not dangerous. And by the way, guys, don't think that I'm immune from the donk wars. Somebody <laughs> did a donk meme of yours truly. I saw that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Me that's, rocking a dog. That's actually pretty badass. I might buy bad, a dog man. now. Yeah. You think you'd go for that, right? Yeah, that's I would totally buy one. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> what was that, Mark? I said yours is actually blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. All right. What other? Walter, did you did you have some guns? Oh, there's guns all over here, but um. I would just pull up since we were talking about AKs before. I'll pull the help up out. The uh, uh, the radium, the radium pistol. Yeah, radium. It's not an IO, not an IO gun. Right. That's Actually, all, all made in Poland. So yeah, uh, it's very nice radium. I like. Have you ever checked out radium's booth at Shot Show? Yes, I have. They got some cool shizzes. Yeah, they have some very nice guns. Some yeah, cool. I'm cool. always I'm always asking those guys when they're going to bring their cool stuff to the U.S. And uh, uh, their basic reply most of the time is, if the military doesn't take it, we'll bring it. Yeah, so, but the pr I think they're, like, every time I talk to them, um, you know, every time I talk to them, they're trying to, they're doing all the paperwork to bring stuff over here to America, well, you know? They told me that their first priority is getting their stuff in with their military. And then if, if that doesn't work, then we'll see. So, I don't, you know, I don't blame them. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know it's a tough thing, but they do have some very cool guns. So yeah, there you go. Um, Sean M says he would like to see a 1911 from Mark. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's the next time you make it a 1911, Mark. Uh, when right after I die. I'm like, <laughs> does hell does hell get that cold? <laughs> yeah. How about a, a a 1911 that shoots a 762 by 39? <laughs> I shoot that one. You have to go to. You have to go to Pakistan for that, my friend. 
All right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, uh, I got a cool gun. Yeah, let's see it. This is an oldie, but a oh, real goodie. A Swedish K. Uh, Swedish oh, I, K. Uh -huh. Well, actually, this one's Port Said. Ah. Yeah. Oh, the well. gun was Swedish K, Port Said, M45, K pistol. There's a lot of different uh, ports. But this one is a Port Said. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Which is a, a pre May sample, which is going to live with. And I ended up with a, I ended up with a parts kit for a port side from somebody, and it looked like it'd been left in the desert for twenty years. Yeah, it, it was rusty and crusty and everything else, but yeah, it is Most what it is. Good. Yeah. But, okay. Very very cool. Um, so Kevin O says, "I bet Mark is a Glock guy," <laughs> <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> Mark, do you care to address that? A Glock? What's that? Right. Glocks. I um. Glocks, I kind of instinctively hate, but <laughs> um, I will say that that gun is the AK-47 of pistols. And there you go. It hurts me deep down inside to agree with the German, uh, you know, gun company, but hey, or Austrian, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So no love for the Glocks. I understand. No, I, I no, I have total respect for the Glock. I really do. Oh. I, um, I don't like the grip angle. There's a few things I don't like, but uh, so what would you conceal uh, carry? What uh, handgun? Uh, yeah, a Glock. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> that makes total sense. <laughs> well, 1911s are so much heavier and yeah. stuff like that. And I know this is probably appalling people that I say this, but it's really, um, it's, it's pretty much the, the gun for now. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so Lola's telling me that that um, she's got to go somewhere by a certain time, so we have to wrap this up. So I will go down the line here. Nine oh four, dudes. Um, anything that you want the folks out there to do? Places they want to follow? Uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter at nine oh four outdoors. Everything. Facebook nine oh four outdoors. Subscribe to our YouTube channel nine oh four outdoors dot net. Um, new videos coming every two days. All kinds of new stuff. We got new training stuff coming. New. Uh, New builds that we just that we're still working on. <laughs> All right. Very cool. And don't forget that they have a giveaway going on their Instagram right now. So you guys check that out. Um, Walter. Yes, what's sir. What's going on with you? Any things you want to run down before we get out of here? Lola's giving me the hard break. Okay. The face, yeah. the Facebook, the Instagrams, as they say. Um, just keep an eye on things. We're I'm always posting stuff up there. All kinds of weird stuff. So. You know, um, have, um, the YouTube channel. Um, I need, yeah. So all that yeah. kind of stuff. We're yeah, working we've on things. Stuff, yeah, we've got stuff coming out. I think that right now Walter's got some really cool things out. We've got a video coming up tomorrow on the KES stock that'll be live on YouTube. Yeah, yeah the, the CZ one, CZ yeah. Evo Scorpion. Absolutely. And Walter's yeah. getting ready for a shot show and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Making stuff. Yeah. Trying to. <sighs> it always happens. You always, you always try to plan. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready this year ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, never, uh, never, ever ready on time. It never works out. Somebody always puts up sticks like the they take like the handle off the broom and stick it in your bike wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Flip you over. <laughs> there you go, right yeah. off the edge. You know. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so Krebs, what's going on with you guys? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What am I looking at uh, here. One thing I, I we're gonna kind of have in the future here is uh, we've been working on a cutaway. 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 We've got a class this week. Uh, downstate, and we'll have a a bunch of social media over that. But it, it's a uh, it's cutaway we did. Sweet. And it shows there's two there, there's three aspects I still haven't captured from this. Uh, we did this for a class, but uh, as you can see, you can see lock up and everything that runs in this uh we've got a cut out to show how the t-slot works in the back uh how the detent works in the front and for the cleaning rod but other than that we've got area every area of the gun exposed uh that is a working 
and that's and that's actually still an FFL gun, isn't it? We registered. Well, it's a machine gun. We registered it. Oh, as okay. A okay. Gun because, uh, okay. Yeah, you can't get you can't get around it. Yeah. Area. Uh, they don't care if you shoot it; you'll blow your face off. They yeah. just care if it's full auto or not. So we right. registered it as full auto. Okay. Uh, but it, it shows. Uh, I think. Now I'm bragging a little bit, but I think this is probably one of the best cutaways um, happening because uh, we went at it about three different times because we just kept noticing new aspects like how the magazine hooks in and, you know, we'll show it right here and right here. And we've got virtually everything. And what we're going to do is uh, show it in different sequences and explain uh, the sequential movement of the uh AK M. yeah awesome awesome so you guys are gonna have a video on that coming up uh it won't i don't know if it'll be a video but it'll it'll show different aspects and explain them okay sweet okay so let us know when that comes out okay cool yeah absolutely that's that's an awesome thing good to you know um, good to see that out there. I'd, I'd like to see something more detailed on that. Okay, so I am going to wrap it up here, guys. Um, you know, one of the things I want to say is that we all did some good stuff tonight. You know, we helped out some people. That's a huge deal. And then some folks out there got a little extra out of it. They won some stuff. Congratulations to them. I think, as we've said many times before, everyone's a winner for getting involved in this and helping out your fellow man. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't thank everybody enough. I really can't. Uh, this is an issue near and dear to my heart, and uh, they're awesome people. Yes, absolutely. I second that. So um, thanks a lot to the 904 guys for coming out. You'll see them here some more. Make sure you follow them on social media. Um, of course, follow Mark Krebs. Uh, Krebs Customs. They're all over the place on social media, as well as Safety Harbor Firearms, Walter, um, I want to thank everyone that supports my channel. That's uh, Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP, Andrews Custom Leather, of course, Big Daddy Guns. We want to thank all the people that support us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange, and we appreciate your support, especially with everything going on nowadays. YouTube keeps, like, I don't know, YouTube seems like it's falling apart every single day. So we appreciate you guys uh, looking out for us on Patreon, as well as other places that you support us. I think that's pretty much it. Congratulations to everyone who won out there. And uh, I hope this, you know, goes a long way to helping out the Rasmussen family. Um, any last words, Mark? I'll let you have the last words before we peace out. Yeah, they, uh, Kurt does also have a GoFundMe page. Um, and um, just thank you, everybody, for participating. Uh, Absolutely. I know it's not going to solve their problems, but it's going to make life a little bit easier. Absolutely. I agree with that. And anyone who wants to know about the GoFundMe page, if you search for the Krebs Custom Raffle and you go to the page, even though the raffle is not in effect anymore, there's a link there to their page that you can click through. And you can, if, you, if you'd still like to help them out, that's a way to help them out. Right? Yes, well, excellent. Absolutely. Peace out, everyone. We're out of right. here. See you. I'm going to bail, man. I'll talk to you later. Week. Okay.